Erev Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Ben Danun. You're watching Israeli News Live Update. Uh, today on Sunday in Israel, we have new uh, information as actually reported just the other day with uh, Sister Amy uh, she treats when she was on, and that is that Lebanon uh, tensions have been mounting on the border with Hezbollah in northern Israel. Uh, also, Hamas now is asking for a 24-hour ceasefire for humanitarian reasons. It kind of makes me wonder if the Israelis are not getting closer to things, maybe even stockpiles of weapon that they have, that they are trying to slow that advance down. Israel this time has not accepted the ceasefire agreement because... <clears throat> Hamas has violated every ceasefire agreement thus far. So if Hamas is asking for it, I'm sure there's a good reason to continue the, uh, the campaign. Uh, also, the Turkish uh, government is going to send another flotilla to Israel, trying to bring in, as they call it, humanitarian aid. If you remember back uh, uh, in 2010, the flotilla that came into Israel then, the, uh, against the blockade order, uh, which also was uh, a UN order as well, Israel brought troops on board and there was a, an engagement with, uh, with Hamas terrorists and I believe there was nine terrorists that were killed in that attack. Uh, and again, this time, Turkey is sending the flotilla with two warships. I can only imagine it will escalate tensions. Many times people are asking us here on the news channel, do we believe this is the Psalm 83 war? Well, can't quite say which war it may be in terms of biblical fulfillment, but no doubt we are seeing the world come against Israel, which is biblical fulfillment. Many scriptures, in fact, Zephaniah, Ezekiel, Zechariah, many of them might play a great role in the upcoming days, months, weeks, and even possibly years. I'm Stephen Ben Danun with Israeli News Live.